All right, friends, so we are on the final step here where we get to um, choose our background, or, well, you might only have one background name, but where we're going to put our name onto our background. Okay, so the first thing you'll need to do is cut out your name. Once that's finished, you can add some extras to your background. Uh, just take a colored pencil, and I just, you know, made some lines, a couple little extra things there just to add some interest. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, but it, it kind of makes it interesting. So I had two backgrounds, if you remember. I had the one that I did with splatter paint, and I've added some extras here with the colored pencil, some extra lines and squiggles. And then I have this one that I did with the watercolor and the blow paint. So um, I have these two choices that I have, and you can see that I added some extra lines here with colored pencils just to give it a little more interest. So the next thing I'm going to do is put my cutout word on here and decide which one I like best. So that's the one with the watercolor. And let's take a look at this one see how that looks and I think I'm going to choose this one because I feel like with this one um, I like the watercolor but I feel like it's taking away a little bit of the attention from my word so I'm actually going to choose this one but it was kind of a hard decision to make okay so I've got my background done I added some lines and some extras with my colored pencil I've got my name cut out or my word you have a name and I'm just going to put some glue around the perimeter or the outside edge. You don't need any glue in the middle. You only need some glue around the outside edge. Okay. And then decide how you want your name to look. So mine actually, I can't do anything like that because I could but it would be off the paper and I don't really want that so mine's going to be just like this but yours might be a little smaller and you could you know kind of play around with it and see how you want it to look on your on your background so I'm going to put it on like that and make sure that you smooth it all down so that you don't have any edges that start to curl up okay and that is the end of this project and I cannot wait to see what yours look like. So when we did this project, we were really thinking about a lot of the elements of art. So we know that the elements of art are the um, ingredients that artists use when they create their artwork. We use the element of line when we added some extras and when we um, did our, our background here. Uh, we use the element of shape when we drew lines that enclosed a space. So this line, once it met the other end of itself, it enclosed the space and made it into a shape, this organic shape here. We use the element of color. I don't know if I said that yet. We use the element of color when we decided what kind of color scheme we were going to use. So I used warm colors for my words and cool colors for my background. You probably did something different. Um, we created a gradient when we blended our colors together. Um, so we used the element of line, shape, and color when we created this artwork. Now, I do want to say one more thing about this. At the very beginning of this project, we talked about whether or not graffiti is art, and you know we had that discussion. But I do want to end this by saying that when you deface public property, no matter how beautiful it is, if it's not yours and you don't have permission to do it, that is against the law. That is illegal. So even though I have taught you um, some things about graffiti and have encouraged you to make your name in the graffiti style that in no way am I encouraging you to go out and do this on your own on somebody else's property so do not do that um, so that's it we are finished with our wonderful project and I cannot wait for you to send me pictures of these or show me what they look like in person I hope it's in person all right, friends, um, see you soon. Bye-bye.